So why do we have a driver shortage? I'm going to cover that in three parts. The first part is what does it take to get a CDL? First four to six hours of unpaid time studying to get a $35 learner permit. Next is how to get the time behind the wheel and the training you need to be able to just pass the test, not to become a proficient driver. Typically this happens in one of two ways. A company makes you sign a two to five year commitment with them and they'll pay for your CDL training or you pay for it out of pocket at a private school for eight to ten thousand dollars. Not to mention that you're going to spend four to six weeks at eight hours a day unpaid doing this. So I hope you have some savings. Now let's say you wanted to do this on the cheap, just you and a buddy teaching you how to drive. You still have to rent a truck in the trailer the day of the test. If you go through the state, there's a waiting list. If you go through private certification, it's $250 per attempt. Hence, you are likely not going to pass the first time. And therein lies the problem of doing it cheaply. You're going to have to rent the truck in the trailer multiple times. Assuming that all goes smoothly, now it is time to go get your actual CDL. But first, hopefully you have no criminal history because you're going to need to submit fingerprints with Homeland Security at a cost of $65. You'll also have to pay for each endorsement you're going to add to your license. Doubles, triples, tankers, flatbed, etc. Generally, a Class A CDL costs you in the neighborhood of $150 to $175 every four years. Congratulations, at this point you are now a truck driver, and companies will offer you bottom dollar because you don't have any experience under your belt. Which, to be honest, makes sense because the likelihood of you having an accident, maybe not a serious one, but one where you at least hit something, is pretty high. Truck drivers, hear me! Can I have your attention? <laughs> yo, 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 what's up now that I got your attention? What's going on, Lockout Man? Back again with another Trucker's Reaction video. And this is from the coolest podcast on the tube right now. That is the Lockout Man Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. We just gonna we just gonna jump right into this video right here. This TikTok trucker right here says that there's a driver shortage, right? And he want to break it down to you in three easy steps. But I, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but I got some issues with, 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 with this TikToker right here. A lot of stuff that he's saying in, in this video, it's kind of misconstrued and misinformed. And I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not sure where you got your information from, but let me help you out. So let's take this video a little bit at a time and we're going to break it down just like this. So why do we have a driver shortage? I'm going to cover that in three parts. The first part is what does it take to get a CDL? Driver shortage. Let's be honest. There is none. I mean, if there really was a driver shortage, they, you know, the media, the, the, the media and the misconception of this driver quote unquote shortage been going on for years, man. First four to six hours of unpaid time studying to get a $35 learner permit. Next is how to get the time behind the wheel and the training you need to be able to just pass the test, not to become a proficient driver. Okay. Okay. He's good. He's good so far. So far, he's good. Yes. They only train you just enough to pass the test. That's it. Not to become a driver. That comes with experience and training. Typically, this happens in one of two ways. A company makes you sign a two to five year commitment with them and they'll pay for your CDL training or you pay for it out of pocket at a private school for eight to ten thousand dollars. OK, so where are you getting your numbers from? I'm not sure where you getting your numbers from, bro. So let's let's break the numbers down right quick. Private schools it can average anywhere between two thousand to five thousand dollars. If you paying more than five thousand dollars up into the ten thousand dollars, what they saying that's how much these private schools are, you getting ripped off. Period. You getting ripped off. And as far as trucking companies go, they only make you sign a one year contract. Not two, not three, one. Not to mention that you're gonna spend four to six weeks at eight hours a day unpaid doing this it's true uh at a company sponsored school yes yeah, some companies will not pay you while you're getting your cdls there's only a handful 
you might want to go ahead and do your research on that. One company in particular that you might want to look at is Rail. They do pay you for your CDLs, but at a is is hoops that you got to jump through in order to get that little money that they offer. So I hope you have some savings. Now let's say you wanted to do this on the cheap, just you and a buddy teaching you how to drive. You still have to rent a truck in the trailer the day of the test. If you go through the state, there's a waiting list. If you go through private certification, it's $250 per attempt. Now mind you, this is different states though. There, There's charges at different states so if you do decide to go with a buddy you better go and get your cdls now because as of february 7th you will not be able to use a buddy to get your cdl hence you are likely not going to pass the first time and therein lies the problem of doing it cheaply you're gonna have to rent the truck and the trailer multiple times assuming that all goes smoothly now it is time to go get your actual cdl but first, hopefully you have no criminal history because you're going to need to submit fingerprints with Homeland Security. Uh, bro, you only need to submit fingerprints when you're getting your hazmat. Again, where are you getting your information from, bro? Only time you need to submit your fingerprints is only when you go and get your hazmat. And that takes time, and that's about an extra $100 right there. But all your other endorsements... It's, it's, it's free when you get it all at the same time. Now, when you have to go back and forth to get them at separate times, yes, you will have to pay to add endorsements if you don't get them all at the same time. At a cost of $65. You also have to pay for each endorsement you're going to add to your license. Doubles, triples, tankers, flatbed, etc. Generally, a Class A CDL costs you in the neighborhood of $150 to $175 every four years. One more time. Where is you getting these numbers from, bro? $170, $100, uh, what? I renewed my CDLs this year, and I only paid like $75, bro. $75, $60 to $75, bro. What are you talking about? Where do you live? Where you get your where you got your license from that you paying close to two hundred dollars for your CDL, bro? Congratulations. At this point you are now a truck driver, and companies will offer you bottom dollar because you don't have any experience under your belt. Which to be honest makes sense because the likelihood of you having an accident, maybe not a serious one, but one where you at least hit something, is pretty high. Of course, yes, yes, very much so. I mean, I do agree with you to this point that you are, when you come in, when you get your CDLs, don't expect to get top dollar. Don't. That's, that's the problem with some of these new guys that's coming into this industry. They, get, they, they go on YouTube, they go on internet, they go on social media, and all these people, gurus and everything over here flushing your mind with, with wolf tickets misunderstandings misconceptions you're not going to make six figures when you come to this industry right off the rip you're going to have to work for it you're going to have to take some years to get to that maybe the maybe at the end of the first year maybe the end of the second year but you definitely when you get into this industry you are going to be at the bottom because you got to train, you got to go out with a trainer for about three, four months, uh, three, four weeks, maybe about a month or two to get training. And you're not going to make no money while you're training. Now, once you get into the truck, the first couple of months, the first couple of f first couple of months, six months or something like that, you may earn maybe a cent or two on top of the initial money uh on top of the initial pay when they offer you to come in so if they offer you 30 something cent a mile you probably might get a couple of cents after six months or something like that but yes you're not going to make this kind of money in the beginning you gotta you gotta get your experience you gotta get your worth you gotta get your value up and again this young man right here like i said is he some of what he said is true but a lot is is mis mis misunderstood and i don't understand where he got his numbers from but let me know in the comments below guys let me know in the comments below if if this is on point 
if he's is is he for real in what he was saying or do you guys agree with me i don't know if you like this video make sure you leave it a like and if you like content like this on this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more shout out to all my supporters i really do appreciate it hit me up in the coffee app if you guys really want to hook a brother up with some coffee you can do that all the all the donation links is in the description thank you very much for watching and i'll come back at you guys with another one. Oh, by the way shout out to my subscriber for sending me this video if you guys got any videos that you want me to watch or anything like that tag me and i'll go ahead and peep it out for you peace